Nestled in the heart of central Alabama, the American Village invites students to take a trip back in time. 1990 or so, I started talking about it. In 1995, we were able to get a charter, uh, and then um, 1998, we started construction. 99, we opened with Washington Hall and the courthouse. Those were the only two buildings here. Tom Walker, the founder and CEO of the American Village, says U.S. history can show today's generation how far our country has come. Liberty and the love of liberty has been the glue that held, holds us together. And it was true in 1775 on the Concord Bridge, but it's true in 1965 on the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma. Um, we may not have all achieved liberty at the same time or in the same way, but it is really our common quest. Since opening in 1999, the American Village prides itself in teaching youth the vital lessons of liberty by breathing new life into old lessons. Remember right before we opened, we thought, will kids really get into landing in the middle of a scene and becoming part of the scene? Not, not hearing a lecture, but landing right in the middle of the Virginia Convention, debating Patrick Henry's resolves for independent, or will they drill in the Army? The students, who come from all over the Southeast, did get into it. And for a man who prides himself on preserving American history, Tom Walker is now becoming a part of it. Recently, Walker was one of only 16 people in the country appointed to the United States Semi-Quincentennial Commission. Uh, I joked with someone the other day that the bill had been introduced in Congress several years ago uh, to create it. And the reason it took so long for it to pass was they were looking for a dictionary that had the word in it. <laughs> the Semi-Quincentennial Commission serves as a board to make recommendations and plans for the U.S. to celebrate its 250th birthday in 2026. Well, I read that they had created the commission, and I thought, well, you know, we need to be part of that because we need to share our story. Reporting for Falcon Weekly, I'm Hope Finley.